On World Mental Health Day, we're taking a closer look at mental illness in our area. As Metro Detroit had two high-profile cases take place within the span of just a few days. In Detroit, officers shot and killed a man who allegedly struggled with a mental disorder. In downtown Dearborn, a man whose family says suffers from PTSD allegedly gunned down a hotel clerk. Detroit Now's Andres Gutierrez explains. The mental health care system in Michigan is under great strain. Dr. Gerald Shiner sees the problem every day. We've really left behind the chronically mentally ill population, the people who aren't struggling with loss of job or divorce. It's an issue decades in the making. Mental institutions across the country began to close in the 1960s. Then in 97, former Michigan Governor John Engler closed more than a dozen psychiatric hospitals in his view to shift treatment back to the community. The burden has fallen to hospital emergency rooms, hospital medical wards, psychiatric units and general hospitals that have been shrinking over the last several years. Coupled with inadequate funding, experts say many of the mentally ill are likely to encounter law enforcement. There was a plethora of um, calls that were coming in that were of a mental health nexus. We had somewhat upwards uh, greater than 20,000. So in 2019, Detroit police rolled out the crisis intervention team. Captain Tanya Leonard Gilbert says there are 214 officers who can recognize signs of mental illness, know how to de-escalate someone in crisis, and get them help. We're able to divert from going to jail when, they, in fact, they may need just services and support. The police often bring people uh, to, to hospitals, but those services are overwhelmed because we don't have the resources. In the upcoming budget, Governor Gretchen Whitmer allocated nearly $900 million to increase access to mental health services. It includes tuition reimbursement for mental health professionals, a new $325 million state psychiatric hospital, and expands behavioral health capacity. Dr. Shiner's advice to lawmakers? Forget about middlemen. Let's not fund brokers who get state money to take care of people and then dole it out to providers. In Detroit, Andres Gutierrez, Detroit Now News.